Haas have launched their 2024 F1 car. Let's take a look at it. I'm going to give you my overview. Is it a banger? Is it a clanger? How does it compare to the McLaren? And most importantly, I'm going to have a go at redesigning it myself. This is livery redesign 2 of 10 in 2024. Let's talk about it. Okay, Haas, typically understated release, just chucking out a bunch of renders, not too much more than that. We got a little bit of information about Ayo Komatsu basically reiterating they're going to be the worst car at the start of the year. A new technical director as well. So there is change going on at Haas. Maybe Gunter's way wasn't the right way. Looking at the livery, all in all, there's as much I'd like about it as there is I don't like about it. Yes, it is majority carbon fibre, and I know a lot of people have been disappointed, understandably. At the end of the day, if more carbon fiber means the team is less mid slow, I mean mid's being quite generous really, then you know what? Give me all the carbon fiber you like, Cass. Okay, I'll take it. Let's start with what I do like. I think this side on angle really does sing to me. There's something about that oversized Hass on the side. You look at their previous iterations of livery and how they have Hass on the side. This is way bigger proportionally to the car and it almost it leans into it in such a way that it feels more like it doesn't even feel like a logo it feels like a design element in it and it really works with the side pods even it works really well on the right hand side but even on the left as well with the the skew of Haas that's my favorite thing by far and away and I really really like that about the livery I think that's a big step forward relative to previous years they've kept the red to a minimal only on the MoneyGram logo, which draws your eye to the MoneyGram logo, because again, that's the only real bit of red, significant bit of red from the side profile. They're a title sponsor. I thought it was weird last year how small the MoneyGram text was. Title sponsor, it was odd to me. Commercially, this works. Also, that side profile really does expose just how few sponsors are on this car. You've got Chipotle, Play and Go, Palm Angels, Hass, MoneyGram. That's about it. Unfortunately, come around to the front and that's where I think it lets itself down a bit. I'm still kind of unsure the whole money gram on that front wing where you got money on one side, gram on the other. I'm not convinced that is the best, most legible way of showing off money gram. Maybe it is, maybe I'm wrong, but I won't be doing that for my redesign. The thing I dislike about this most, honestly, is just that nose. It's compositionally with the little bit of red going down the sides and a little like arch, like, kind of squashed McDonald's arch at the bottom with the Hass on the white. Uh, it looks too fiddly for me, not keen. The white on the halo and kind of around the driver, it's not too bad, but yeah, that's my main critique, I would say, of this car, it's, it's the nose. That's definitely gonna change for my redesign. Relative to the McLaren, I'm definitely putting it behind. I'm gonna kind of live rank the liveries, maybe live tier list, I might put it into a tier list actually, T tier list here. Best to worst, so that once we get to the 10th and final livery redesign, whichever team that is, I can't even remember now, you'll also have my review of all of them. But anyway, enough blabbering, using all the logos on this car, keeping as many as I can in the same position. I have took some creative liberties and moved a few around a little bit, but at the end of the day, they've not got many logos on that car, have they? You know, sponsors get to work, all right? If Gene's not gonna invest his own money in that team, then get some sponsors on, please, Haas. Because here's my redesign of the 2024 Haas Formula One car. Okay, what do you think? What do you think? I've gone for something very different, I think anyway, big departure from what they're actually running in real life. Let's start with the bang on side profile because that's where I started. I know I wanted a big Hass. I've not gone quite as big as the Hass on the actual car. I mean, with this model that I'm using, the Racing Studio model, it didn't, I don't know, it just didn't seem to sit right. I started here with a kind of angular base. So it angles kind of up from the front wing, then down, then up again, then across. That's kind of the base template, put the Hass logo on. I wanted it to be a bit more color blocky. I do like a color block. Um, so the front wing is all carbon and red. The rear wing is all carbon and red. White only appears on the kind of body. And I've tried to keep a good amount of carbon fiber not too much, not too little. I think the cleverest part about this design, and for sure, definitely influenced by Williams and their Duracell 
integration is how I've used the MoneyGram logo, right? Because at the end of the day, the MoneyGram text, that's the thing that people are gonna see. So you want that to be big, you want that to be legible. The MoneyGram icon, I think that's where you can be a bit more creative with its implementation. So what I've done is use the icon around the airbox. I think it's quite cool. I think it's quite smart, okay? So it's a circular icon on its own, symmetrical on both sides as well. I think it looks pretty cool. The halo carries a similar design that I did on the McLaren, actually, a bit of red on the carbon this time out though. I've kept it carbon all around the, the kind of driver itself and then the, the white sits on the rest of the livery. On the nose, you've got play and go Pirelli MoneyGram. Again, there's not too many logos knocking about. On the front wing, the MoneyGram full logos on that lower part, kind of like McLaren have. And then a red Haas logo on the nose on a carbon background. They've put the US flag on the actual car. In the past, they used to kind of grayscale it out, I guess, and I've done that here. I think it gets a bit messy, especially when you've got Chipotle in full color, which is kind of red, but it's a bit more burgundy. Play and go with the blue as well. If they're gonna insist on keeping them in full color, then I think breaking that down a bit is important. Also, something I've bared in mind with this livery is that Keeping blank spaces, so again, on this nose, where there's this big blank space between Hass and Chipotle, that's almost like an invitation. That's the way I'm looking at it. It's an invitation to brands to be like, you know what, look, your logo could go here, you know? If, if Hass are putting a deck together to try and generate more sponsors, which they should be, then they can just chuck a sponsor right there in Photoshop, easy, right? Do you wanna go here? Yeah. There's plenty of space on the side as well, between the MoneyGram and the Hass, and to the right of the Hass as well, on that carbon bit. Plenty of space there for logos. Even on the bit between the kind of front tire and side kind of air inlet, there's a blank space there. Just like on the real car, we need to get some money coming in, Hass. Come on, let's, let's work on this together. So that's my take on the 24 Hass. I've put a pinned comment down below with mine and the real thing. So like which one you prefer. Do you prefer my version? Do you prefer the real thing? Drop a like if you enjoyed this one. Make sure you subscribe to make sure you don't miss the remaining eight livery redesigns I'll be doing over the next couple of weeks. My name's Tomo. Thanks again. Have a good one. Ta-da.